Hello, this is Mikhail. Welcome, my genius Sims. I wish to hear give you hugs and kisses, like, comment, subscribe, watch the channel come alive. And make sure you hit the notification bell to get notified every time I upload. Thank you. Ding dong, Stu is a witch. What? Ah, just kidding, brother. We're back with the Sims for Handcuffed by Love. And today is Savannah's Sheriff Cop gig. I don't know what the heck it is. It's, it's... The sheriff from Alpha, I can't, I don't, Centauri? I don't yeah. Know. I have no idea. But. The sci-fi. It is. Yeah. I did not know it was a sci-fi. It is. But anyway, Savannah woke up from a, from a call on her cell phone from Mrs. Collabottom. Asking her to come over after her gig because she has something important to tell her. Exciting. Could it be bad? Could it be good? We don't know. I mean, in my opinion, Mrs. Cottlebottom is nothing but bad news. But, but I don't know. It will change. <laughs> I don't, but some people do. I don't seem like that a lot of, a lot of the townies in Windenburg think that Mrs. Cuddlebottom's an evil woman who, who's gonna try to probably have something bad planned for Savannah. Savannah's... Okay, Henry texted her and Savannah says that she's she can't go on a date with him right now because she has to work in a little bit, but she'll the, she will hang out with him later. Oh. <coughs> but anyway But Savannah doesn't know what to believe. She doesn't know if Mr. Cottlebone's actually that type of an evil person. Or maybe I don't know. Let me know in the comments on what you think if Mrs. Cottlebottom is has something bad planned. Or do you think maybe it's just something good? I mean, I don't know. But anyway, she has to she has to go to work in a little bit. I think it's at nine AM that she has to go, but that's why she had some cereal, you know, just for a quick breakfast. And I am not trusting to light her Christmas tree again. Hey, go get her medicine. Please don't say that! Great. If my game crashes again, and the day Christmas tree catches on fire, I'm blaming you. This time. <laughs> Because I have I've been having bad luck with recording. Every time I mention something, my game crashed the first time, then when I try to light Savannah's Christmas tree, it caught on fire. So now I'm, this is the third time I'm doing this part. So let's hope nothing goes wrong. Evil woman walking down the street. You're supposed to be singing Christmas songs. Oh yeah. Have a holly bolly stiffness. It's the best time of the year. I don't know if there will be stiffness, but have a lot of whiskey. Have a holly bolly stiffness. And in case you didn't eat. Oh by golly, have a holly bolly Christmas this year. Yeah. But anyway, Sunday is going to be the last part of this Christmas sto love story let's play. And I will have something, I will have to figure out something else for Sundays and Thursdays. Let's play wise. But I do have a new, but I do have a new let's play planned for Saturday. Which I hope that all of you will enjoy. Okay. 
But yeah, three new Let's Plays will be coming up soon. Exciting! Isn't it? I would say so. Yeah. It's snowing. Oh no, it's not snowing, it's cloudy. I'm reading that backwards. What? Backwards? Uh, and it's winter and I read that backwards. You know what snow backwards is? No, I read that backwards on the bottom. I was like, oh, it's snowing. Oh, never mind, it's cloudy. W-O-N-S, ones. Yeah, that's snow backwards. Okay, oh, look. There's steak. Yum. Roast chicken, another steak, and there's yeah. apple pie that she can have if she wanted to, I guess, if she's hungry enough. But. Who the hell's drumming? I have no idea. But anyway, I figured out why. It said that, that the hair and makeup and the clothes didn't pop up. It was because I had it on her fame points where where it didn't matter if she was in costume or not. I guess I didn't realize that before. But I just remembered it now. I can't! What the uh, hell's he doing here? I don't know. Why are you here? And I want to be. What the hell for a snack? I'm hungry. You're not part of this Let's Play. Shit. You're in another one. Anyway. Go away. Yes, please. Go away. <laughs> anyway, she's going to get her hair and makeup done anyway. Yeah. I mean, I know, it's, I know it's not part of it now because of the... Fame points because I did not realize that I bought that before, but now I do know. <coughs> There's a knob door there. That's for get famous. Oh shit! That's not part of this let's play. Sorry. Another game file. Oh yeah. We have some other dude though. <coughs> That's a cold boyfriend on there. He is not my boyfriend. I thought you liked him. I said I did not. Oh, you do not like him. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, I did not hear you. Do not. I said that last time. I, I did not hear you. I actually have a part before, but anyway, she's gonna get her hair and makeup done. Let's hope that's nothing crazy. Yeah. Let's hope it's not a crazy hairstyle or anything. I do notice when the hair and makeup is mostly blonde hair. Why, I wonder? I notice it's mostly blonde hair. Well, I really have blonde hair. I know, but I mean the normal hair. But the, they usually do different hair colors. Mostly like the blonde hair or the yellowy, <coughs> yellowish blonde hair. <coughs> oh, oh, wow. Actually, light brown hair. <coughs> what? Actually, she has light brown hair on this one. I'm very shocked. It's longer. It's a wig. Winterfest is tomorrow. Cool. So winter, so I mean next week will be, not next week, I mean Sunday will be the last part. What am I saying? Oh, okay, now she's going to get her costume. Who are you? Wait a minute. Is this who I think it is? It's a knob door. It's Thorn! Uh oh, is he going to be in a movie? No, Thorn's not. I just saw Thorn. Go away, Thorn. My enemy. Anyway, okay, I'm not okay. How dare you talk to me in such a tone? Uh -huh. I'm Thorn uh -huh. Bailey. Uh -huh. I swear. Uh -huh. I've never seen a tilt all my life. I'm. Uh -huh. I think Thorn's pissed. I think so. But anyway, I can actually gonna practice her. Good job, Roger. Post her Simstagram story. She's, I guess she's gonna be talking about her new gig on her Instagram story. Who is? Savannah. Oh. Apparently, she can wear a celebrity disguise. Why didn't I think about putting that on for Savannah when she was going in public? I don't know. That would sunglasses. Yep. Yeah. How'd you know? Uh, that's what they all do. 
I figured that. Fix that round one so nobody can tell who the hell they are, but people always can tell, so it doesn't really do anything. I don't think sunglasses are going to really do much for you. You can try it and do it maybe a mustache. That maybe could work. Are you the, are you the director? Or mustache or beard. That would be funny, but no. Anyway, after she practices her acting... The Hank would be surprised. <laughs> Hank? Who's Hank? What? You said Hank! What's his name? Henry! Oh! <laughs> you know, they do call people named Henry Hank. <coughs> Did you know that? No. <coughs> they sure do. Well you, well, you learn something new every day. Yeah. So, hello, Hank. It's, he goes by Henry. <coughs> I like Hank better. <coughs> dang, well, gosh, dang it. Well, Angel named him Henry, so his name's Henry. Sorry. But anyway, she, she's wearing a sheriff dress. Who the hell is Hank? I don't know. I messed up. Clem did not. Clem forgot his name. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> More. You can't remember the name Henry? Oh, I, I do know that Henry is sometimes called Hank. Sometimes, but that's been years ago. Well, you know, but, rusty man. Well, that's why I didn't know that. It has been so long ago. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt, Okay, now she's going to tell the director that she's ready to perform. Let's see how this goes. Oh, Mr. Director, I'm ready to perform. It's Mrs. Director. Oh, sorry. Excuse me, sorry. Clint, sorry, Mrs. Director. Clint's messing up on everything. I didn't know the woman. How can I tell? I can't see her. Because I said. I no. didn't see her. Okay. Anyway, let's see. Where's the shooting scene? Perf uh, perform fire sim racing for uh, shouting, not shooting. I read that wrong. <laughs> Go away, Ed. Fine, man, Baho. <coughs> and I whoop your ass, you little son of a bitch. Of course, they would not have a shooting scene. That's only about the extreme violence mod. Why not? That's their, their cops. I have no idea. Neither. But I need to find the sim scene part and then the. Shouting and then perform guitar scene. So you gonna do a country version of something? Yes. Well, I live in the sticks with an ugly old bitch. <laughs> no. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Anyway, she needs to. Okay, here's the sim ray part. I was about to say, I thought it was on the green X, but apparently it was on the yellow X. No wonder I got that wrong. Who are you, person? Oh, it's our co star. Okay. No, it's Shingo. Shingo? Uh oh. Maybe he knows martial arts. She's getting him with a sim ray. She got him. What'd she do? Now she perform a fighting scene, I guess, with Shingo. Uh -oh. Wonder who's gonna win the fight? Will it be her? Hopefully, it would be. I, hope so. she's supposed to be the sheriff. I guess it, I guess he's supposed to be the bad guy. Yeah. She won. Good job. Okay, where's the shout? Okay, the shout. The where's the shouting scene? I guess she's supposed to be playing guitar first. I guess the shouting scene's over here. I don't know. <coughs> we'll try it out and see. I guess she's gonna be playing guitar in this part. Rock up. 
she's playing a country song on the guitar. I told you. <clears throat> well, I love my truck. It's not that song, Clem. It farted right out, Shane. I wonder if that's actually a real song. I like to look at my duck. <laughs> He's sitting in my truck. <laughs> okay, where... Okay, the shouting scene's over here. Risky shout for Ben words. Uh -oh. I guess she's telling a joke on this part. This would be interesting. <laughs> you know, I guess she's gonna be shouting for. Oh, it's Shingo again! Shingo changed clothes. That was he dressed in. I don't know what the heck that is. This looks like an alien. Uh oh, he's an alien. Oh, he's in jail. Or he's gonna be in jail. <coughs> I'm sliding. Oh, now she's gonna lock him up. She's gonna lock him up now, Clem. Throw away the key. <laughs> Uh. He's locked up in jail. <laughs> and now it's done. That was, that was good. I think she did good too. Yep. Right now, she has to wait and see if she's. I'm gonna let, let her go ahead and go to the bathroom because she needs to go. Way but tanquil? Oh, she tanquil. She can go to scare the pee out of her. Maybe so. Maybe. We an alien and all. That's a wrap. Savannah has finished all her scenes. The crew is shutting. Oh, she was nominated for an award. Wow. Savannah was nominated for an award for a breathtaking acting performance. Check out the next award ceremony Sunday at 7 p.m. See if she won. Cool. Oh, she's that. promoted to a superstar. That's, oh, wow. It's a level 5? The last level? She's level 9. Oh, 9. I'm sorry. I went up to 5. No, that's for her career part. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and let her eat and stuff, and then I'll be back to. And I'll let all of you. I'll, I'll be back to with with all of you whenever she's at Mrs. Cuddlebottom's house. So we're officially now at Mrs. Cuddlebottom's house, and over here is Mrs. Cuddlebottom. I'm waiting to see. Her first name is Angelina, and so she doesn't technically, well, really know her so in person, but she has talked to her on the phone. So I think that Savannah will need to give her maybe a friendly introduction or something like that. If I can click on her. Because I'm not having any like doing right now. There we go. I don't understand why Mrs. Cuddlebottom's not enter. Um. So I'm gonna give her a cheerful introduction. I think Mrs. Cuddlebottom maybe should invite her over into her house. You think that sounds like a good plan, Clem? Yes, I do. Right. Anyway, she's gonna say hello. I'm Savannah. And what did what did you want to tell me? I'm. It seemed like she was kind of not very enjoying the introduction that she was giving her. She just like put it off as like nothing. 
This is what I got from it. So what I think that maybe Savannah needs to do now is may I ask what she I guess you have a deep conversation about this. So they think they think that would probably make sense. So she's asking her well, So she's asking her what what she what she needed. And let's see. So now it seems like that she's telling her now. Wait, where, what the heck? Where's she going? I guess she's inviting her in. I guess she's telling her to, that they'll talk inside. Hmm, what do you think she has to tell her? Oh, no. Oh, she had to go to the bathroom. So I think now they can talk. <coughs> Let's see. What in the world? Okay, anyway. I guess they're going to be talking in her bathroom. Odd place to talk about. She's asking her, like, and now she's saying, so what did, so what did you need? Gaba, Gaba, Pavare, Guas, Confulibo. Oh, yeah, but I'm waiting for them. Okay, now she's having a deep conversation, Mother, and I guess. Looks like Mrs. Miss. She's telling her what, what she's planning. She's telling her. Wait. She's telling her that. That her great aunt Sophia actually let her have the house instead of Savannah. So now, so now Mrs. Cuddlebone doesn't need her permission anymore. So now she owns it, and she wants her gone by Winterfest. That was, I guess that was Mrs. Cuddlebone's plan all along. Bitch. Brass. <laughs> yeah, she's laughing about it too. So, how do you think Savannah should react to this, Clem? I'd be pissed, sad. I don't know a lot of emotions. I guess she's gonna yell at her. I would. I mean, what do you mean that that you own it now? That makes no sense. My granite Sophia is the one that that gave it to me and her will. And that's kind of why I'm saying, nope, I own it now. So I suggest that you pack up your stuff and leave by Winterfest night. I'll give you, I'll give you until then. So I want, so I want you to get out of my house and don't bother ever coming back at all. That is rude, isn't it, Clem? It is rude as hell. So I, I'm I'm guessing that Savannah may not. Savannah is gonna be Savannah is really disappointed now. Well, she's not disappointed. She is very upset and mad and sad. She's feeling a lot of emotions right now because uh, she's gonna lose her great aunt Sophia's house. I would be too. I'd be very upset. So I guess she's not. She's gonna go go home. <laughs> so Savannah is now back home. And she is, and she has been crying under her covers. Because she's so very upset about what's going on. And she doesn't know what to do. She, she wants to save her grand, grand aunt Sylvia's house. And she, and she, and she doesn't know what to do right now.
And I guess all she can do is hope that that something happens where where nothing will go wrong. She's she's gonna go ahead and text Henry and let him know what's going on. And she's and trying to tell him that that she doesn't know what to do. Oh, she's so heartbroken. That's so sad. Clem, it's so sad. <laughs> Ed's over here crying. It is More Oreos, please. Yes, I bet that you will need your Oreos and ice cream and everything else I that you need. Feelings. Well, I think we need to end the video here anyway. I know, I mean, it seems like a lot of bad things are happening for poor Savannah. I feel so bad for her. <clears throat> anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found this heartwarming, but this is not really heartwarming in the end. It's really sad in the end. Anyway, jump into the channel up in here. I always welcome. I love you all so much. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, everybody. Goodbye, everyone. It's Ed. <laughs> I was on the Wonder Years. It's Kevin Arnold. Thanks for telling me, Fred. You're welcome. It's Agger. Shut the hell up.